The hottest, driest part of the summer is usually July. Not this year for the folks in Perry County and parts east. This summer, Hazard and neighboring cities and counties suffered their worst flooding in more than a century. Homes washed away, businesses and schools unrecognizable. We had creeks running through our schools. There was a utility pole that was in the hallway at Buckhorn School. Uh, just unbelievable, the, the devastation. Kim Best, Assistant Superintendent of Operational Services, knows all too well. She's from a large family still living in Perry County and neighboring areas. I was there about three weeks after the flooding, um, checking on in on my mother, of course, because she still lives there, as well as helping three of my aunts do some cleanup in their houses. The one thought was, what if this had happened at 9 o'clock on a school day? Because we would have had no idea that we should evacuate those kids. That stuck in my mind, how catastrophic it could have been if it had happened a month later. And yet every child in this school district of 3,900 students survived. It was immediately clear, though, that this community needed all hands on deck. School was weeks away, and only six schools were usable. Robinson Elementary was a total loss, and Buckhorn will need extensive renovation. The next need was to determine where to house the two schools. And we were fortunate we had an old facility that had been closed due to consolidation. We were able to renovate that. Um, and it's actually, it's, it's two schools in one building. So we have kiddos down there who are not at home right now, who are living with relatives, who are living in temporary housing, and sometimes school is the one constant that they have. So looking at it from a standpoint of how can we help Perry County get the kids back into school and get them back into a routine quicker. A school needs materials to teach. They had none. Statewide, school districts started collecting. Boone County Schools turned it into a stuff the bus event. Once we realized we had a, a real good possibility of make, being able to make this happen for our friends down in uh, Perry County, we started thinking we've got two empty school buses that are going to be driven down to Perry County. Let's fill those buses up with stuff that they need. Being in education, it takes several years for teachers to accumulate classrooms, and they've lost entire classrooms. It was, what can we do? That was our absolutely first thought. What can we do? Um, and the word, as soon as it got out, no one hesitated. The materials that uh, Boone County brought was, I mean, it, it was everything we, we needed. Uh, it had everything from cleaning supplies to water to books, uh, computers, um, dry erase boards, uh, just just every library books, textbooks. Uh, paper, notebooks, backpacks. You certainly saw these disturbing images too. Perry County also needed school buses. We had two buses that we lost in the flood. The water got so high, it washed them honestly down into the creek. The fact that we had two additional buses that we weren't using, knowing that they needed those, again, made that very easy. We were asked to work out you know, a lease agreement to be able to lease them two special needs buses so they could accommodate their students. For us to be able to give two of our buses to a county that needs them for the school year, it says a lot. Everybody seemed like they were really excited about helping out. It's exciting to see that people still have a kind heart and they still want to give to even people that aren't in their natural neighborhood. I happen to be lucky enough to have a cabin about halfway between here um, and Hazard. So I said, hey guys, what if we all just take our Saturday, we drive down, we deliver the buses, and we come back and we'll stay at my cabin overnight. Just say thank you to everybody who helped out. You know, our transportation staff did volunteer their time um, going down there on a Saturday. You know, they gave up their time away from their families to assist others. Um, the donations from schools and making sure that they were collecting things, sorting things, delivering them to, for transportation. So it was definitely a group effort. Thanks for everything um, from everybody in your district and the school board and your commitment to, to helping my students and my community. My hope is that you would never need the help that you provided to us. But if you ever do, I can promise you that my team will be there.